So the big question is this, how do investors like us who trade options and manage our own money generate income regardless of where the stock market goes and do it all in a way that lets us make time for the people and things we love and yet still build wealth and remain profitable? That's the question and this podcast will give you the answer. I'm your host, Kirk Duplessis, and you're listening to The Daily Call from Option Alpha. Hey everyone, this is Kirk here again from Option Alpha and welcome back to The Daily Call. Today we're going to be answering the question, is margin required when trading option spreads? So the simple answer to this is yes and no. So when it's typically thought about margin when it comes to investing, people think about borrowing on margin and then buying stock. But when it comes to options trading, you do have to have margin or put up margin to trade option spreads. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean you need a margin account. In fact, you can trade option spreads in your IRA or retirement account with your broker just as easily as you can trade option spreads in a regular margin account. Now, what brokers do is that when you're trading spreads, they put up or set aside money in your account to cover the risk in that spread position. So let's say you're trading a $1 wide spread, the credit spread, uh, either call spread or put spread, and you take in a $30 credit, which means you have about $70 of risk in a very simple spread. That $70 of risk, they're going to set aside and they may call it margin or they just may call it buying power reduction. But in either case, they're setting aside this risk money to cover the position in case it goes bad. Now, again, even though they may call it margin, they're not necessarily borrowing that money. You're not going into the margin account of the broker and borrowing money for the sake of making this trade. You're just allocating a certain percentage of your account, that $70 from whatever percent that is of your account, to cover that position in case it goes bad. So the broker just sets it aside in your account and you can't trade with that $70 in your account anymore. You can trade with everything else that's left, but that amount of money is set aside to cover it. So that's why I say it's kind of a little bit tricky sometimes in the sense that they call it margin, but it's not really borrowing on margin. Same thing is done in your IRA accounts. Doesn't matter if you're a margin account, IRA, retirement account, they just set aside the money when trading spreads. So hopefully this helps out. As always, if you guys have any questions, let me know. And until next time, happy trading. Thanks for joining us on The Daily Call. Be sure to subscribe right now for more daily options trading ideas, strategies, and tactics to help you learn how to play smarter, more profitable trades. And if you like what we're doing, don't forget to give us a rating and a review so we can continue to bring you the best daily content possible. We'll see you again tomorrow right here on The Daily Call from OptionAlpha.com.